The JWST team has just dropped another gorgeous image from the telescope. This time, it's been peering into a chaotic galaxy called the Cartwheel Galaxy, a previously spiral galaxy that was shaken up by a merger to give it a unique look. JWST is revealing new details about the galaxy's past, present and future, the formation of stars and even details of the galaxy's central black hole. The Cartwheel Galaxy is around 500 light years from us in the Sculptor constellation, and it looks just like a wagon wheel, complete with a neat inner ring, a colourful outer ring, and plenty of stellar spokes and all. It probably used to be a generic spiral galaxy, but a violent high-speed collision with another galaxy left it looking very unique. The galaxy that it collided with hasn't stuck around and has moved far enough away that it's not visible in this picture. That collision though will have had a huge impact on the Cartwheel, affecting its shape dramatically. We see lots of galaxies that have undergone collisions and mergers, and most of them don't end up looking like this, so it must have been an especially violent one to get this structure around the centre. Cartwheel probably stripped many, many stars off of the other galaxy. We call this type of galaxy a ring galaxy, and they're much rarer than the usual spiral or elliptical galaxies we often see. Using the infrared cameras on web, we can see an incredibly detailed image as the longer wavelengths of infrared light cut through the dust and gas that seem to fill the galaxy in older images, just like this one from the Hubble Space Telescope. Hubble looks in the shorter, visible wavelengths of light that are mostly blocked by the dust, so Webb's power is that we can see through a lot more of that pesky dust and get a better view of the details of the galaxy. The bright core is home to huge amounts of hot dust, perfect for forming stars, and many young star clusters live in here, even Webb's infrared cameras struggle to see through all of that dust. The outer ring has been expanding for about 440 million years since the collision, and it's full of both star formation and supernovae, the birth and the death of stars. The expanding outer ring smashes into more dust and gas surrounding the galaxy, triggering even more star formation as it compresses all of that goodness. Webb's powerful infrared gaze produced this detailed image of the Cartwheel and two smaller companion galaxies against a backdrop of many other galaxies. This image provides a new view of how the Cartwheel galaxy has changed over billions of years. This image is a composite of data from both NERCAM and MIRI. NERCAM provides shorter, near-infrared wavelengths of light that here are coloured blue, yellow and orange, while MIRI provides longer wavelength mid-infrared light which here is coloured red. Amidst those red swirls of dust, we can pick out many blue stars shining through, and the different coloured stars here represent stars of different ages. The two bright objects with the diffraction spikes are foreground stars in our galaxy, just getting in the way, and everything else is a background galaxy, none of which are interacting with the cartwheel. You can tell that Cartwheel is the closest galaxy because it not only looks the biggest, but we can resolve individual stars within it, something we can't do with most of the more distant objects. Although this galaxy, to the side, we can resolve a little bit, so it must be closer than most of the others. We can also play the usual JWST game of spotting all of the beautiful galaxies in the background that weren't the target of the image but snuck in anyway. There are some obvious beauties to point out, like this big spiral to the side but also countless gems peeking through the darkness. Lots of old red galaxies, some more awesome spirals, a nice tail on this big galaxy, and plenty of edge-on galaxies showing a nice galactic bulge too, and maybe even hints of gravitational lensing. Be sure to follow the link in the description to get the full high-resolution image and have a look for yourself, and let me know in the comments what the coolest thing you find is. In this image that just contains the mid-infrared data from MIRI, we can see many young stars in yellow in the bottom right of the outer ring, glowing brightly as the surrounding hydrocarbons are energised. The blue skeleton of the galaxy is more hydrocarbons and silicate dust, very similar to the sort of dust we might find on Earth. This blue skeleton forms the spokes on the wheel, and they are present in older images by Hubble and friends, but they're much more prominent with Webb. We also see lots more structure in the galaxies as we see through even more of the dust with Miri, and this is the case in both Cartwheel and it's visible too in the other nearby galaxy here, where we also see lots of star formation. Notice that the foreground stars dim a lot with Miri, because stars are much fainter in longer wavelengths of light, 
but a couple of new things do light up nicely. The very center of the cartwheel glows brightly, likely telling us of a mission from hot matter falling into a huge central black hole. There's also a very bright object in the outer ring, and I think this has to be another hungry black hole, eating up hot, glowing matter. It's definitely not a star, because it's so faint in the NERCAM data and so bright with Miri, and that's the wrong way around for a star. But I can't find anything to confirm that it is a black hole, but that's my best guess at the moment. If I get any updates, I'll pin a comment down below so that you can see it too. We're seeing the galaxy in a very transitory stage. It's had a big collision, and it's still evolving as a result, and we don't know exactly how it might look in the future. It was a spiral galaxy, just like the Milky Way in the past. Now it's a cool wheel, and in the future it's going to continue to transform. So this is an awesome image, but as a thank you for sticking around to the end of the video, let's take a quick look at another brand new web image we've just received. This time, one released online by the Cosmic Spring team. This is an image that contains the most distant known star in the universe, Irondel. It was discovered pretty recently by Hubble, and I have a full video about all the details of the star, which you can check out down below or up here. But now, JWST has looked at the same patch of sky. The star itself is still very faint and only visible due to some epic gravitational lensing, but it's in this band here, peeking through. Other than that star, this is still an awesome vista, showing us tons of galaxy and again, loads of lensing. Take a long look at this and let me know your favorite objects in the comments down below. Thanks for watching team, be sure to subscribe for more on JWST and all things Astro. Until next time though, stay safe team. I'll see you soon. Bye!